What do you want, darling? <laughs> it's Captain, darling, to you. General Melchett wants to see you about a highly important secret mission. What's going on, darling? Captain Clark, I'd like to see you, sir. Ah, excellent. Just a short back inside today, I think. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> That's Corporal Black, sir. Captain Blackadder is here about the other matters, sir, the secret matter. Ah, yes, the special mission. At ease, Blackadder. Now, what I'm about to tell you is absolutely tip-top secret. Is that clear? Um, it is, sir. Now, I've compiled a list of those with security clearance. Have you got it, darling? Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> Read it, please. It's top security, sir. I think that's all the captain needs to know. George Sudge, let's hear the list in full. Very well, sir. <laughs> list of personnel cleared for Mission Gainsborough, as dictated by General C.H. Melchett. You and me, darling, obviously. <laughs> Field Marshal Haig, Field Marshal Haig's wife, all Field Marshal Haig's wife's friends, <laughs> their families, their family servants, their family servants' tennis partners. <laughs> And some chap I bumped into in the mess the other day called Bernard. So, it's maximum security, is that clear? <laughs> Quite clear, sir. Only myself and the rest of the English-speaking world is to know. Good man. Now, Field Marshal Hay has formulated a brilliant new tactical plan to ensure final victory in the field. Ah. Well, this brilliant plan involve us climbing out of our trenches and walking very slowly towards the enemy, sir. <laughs> How could you possibly know that, Blackadder? It's classified information. <laughs> It's the same plan that we used last time, and the 17 times before that. E e exactly! And that is what is so brilliant about it. It will catch the watchful Hun totally off guard. Doing precisely what we've done 18 times before is exactly the last thing they'll expect us to do this time. <laughs> there is, however, one small problem. That everyone always gets slaughtered in the first 10 seconds. <laughs> That's right. And Field Marshal Haig is worried that this may be depressing the men attached. <laughs> He's looking to find a way to cheer them up. Well, his resignation and suicide would seem the obvious. <laughs> Interesting thought. Make a note of it, darling. <laughs> hey, look at this. I'm sure you know it. King and Country. Ah, yes. Without question, my favourite magazine. Soft, strong and thoroughly absorbent. <laughs> Chop old black -edder. I thought it would be right up your alley. <laughs> Field Marshal Haig's plan is this, to commission a man to do an especially stirring painting for the cover of the next issue, so as to really inspire the men for the final push. What I want you to do, Black Adam, is to labour night and day to find a first-rate artist from amongst your men. Impossible, sir. I know from long experience that my men have all the artistic talent of a cluster of colour-blind hedgehogs <laughs> in a bag. <laughs> Well, that's a bit of a blur. We needed a man to leave the trenches immediately. Leave the trenches? <laughs> yes. I wonder if you've enjoyed, as I have, sir, that marvellous painting in the National Portrait Gallery, Bag Interior, by the colourblind hedgehog workshop of Siena. <laughs> I'm sorry, are you saying you can find this man? I think I can, and might I suggest, sir, that having left the trenches, it might be a good idea to post our man to Paris in order to soak up a little of the artistic atmosphere, perhaps even Tahiti, I don't know. <laughs> so as to produce a real masterpiece. Yes, yes, but can you find the man? Now I know I can, sir. Before you can say sunflowers, I'll have Vincent van Gogh standing before you. <laughs> No, no, don't, don't stop, sir. It's coming. It's definitely coming. I... Yeah. <laughs> I just wonder whether two socks and a hand grenade is really the sort of thing the covers of King and Country are made of. They will be when I've painted them being shoved up the Kaiser's backside. <laughs> ah, now, now, this is interesting. What is? Well, Private Baldrick is obviously a bit of an impressionist. <laughs> Perhaps even Tahiti. What's it called, Baldrick? The Vomiting Cavalier? 